Hey guys, it is Zach Jacef here, and uh, are you guys ready for the fifth episode of Pokemon Ish? Okay, so last episode we defeated Brock. Yeah, fuck you, Brock. Fuck you. Fuck you. Yeah, we d we destroyed him, and uh, now everyone's level 15, and we're gonna go take out Mount Moon. So let's get this over with. Well, uh, let me just check what order my Pokemon are in. Uh, sure. Let's level up Marjorie a little bit. Did you come through the Viridian Forest too? Of course I came through the fucking Viridian Forest. How the fuck else did you get to Pewter City? Is there literally any other way to get to Pewter City besides Viridian Forest? These fucking, like, bug catchers are just dumbasses. I think his name is Colton. Colton, you're a fucking dumbass. Uh, okay, well, at least uh, Marjorie has Gus, so we can just, like, just fucking get through all these guys pretty damn easily. Okay, okay, okay. So, uh, I recorded the, my Pokemon, not for that, not Pokemon, uh, Faster Than Light, uh, Let's Play yesterday? Yeah, yesterday. And, uh, I uploaded the first episode yesterday, which was Sunday. I'm recording this on the 15th of July at 12.27 a.m. Uh, I can't really sleep, so I might as well do something productive. Uh, but yeah, um, that's besides the point, but, uh, <clears throat> so yeah, um, I did my FTL Let's Play, and, uh, yeah, I had a lot of fun with that. Uh, I hope you guys liked it as much as I did. Excuse me, sir. Uh, I'm guessing that, yeah, it's a lass, okay. Uh, but that's a very sexual pose, like, that, that's a very sexual pose. She's, like, showing us her ass. She's like, ooh, yeah, you like that, boys? You like my little, little teenage ass, my little underage ass? That's disgusting. No. No. Ash is like 10 years old, and there's like this 15, 16 year old girl like shoving her ass in Ash. No, that's just wrong. Oh, well, why'd you really? Why'd you wake? Why did he have to wake up? That's just retarded. Okay. Anyways, but what was I saying? Uh, so yeah, I hope you guys like the uh, Faster Than Light Let's Play. Uh, it's not. It's not really a full Let's Play. Uh, I'm calling it a mini Let's Play because it's it's only gonna be four episodes long. But uh, I had a lot of fun playing. I really love that game. It's really awesome. Make sure you check it out. Uh, FTL Faster Than Life by Subset Games. Uh, really good. Uh, I was I was thinking of possibly putting up a video on Sundays as well, just to kind of add a little variety between Pokemon and just other stuff. My mommy got me a snake Pokemon for my birthday. Want to see? That's, that was kind of weird. My mommy gave me a snake for my birthday. <laughs> Youngster Ben. Oh, look at that. He's got a sideways cap. He's chill. He's freaking boss. He's, he's a fucking gangster, man. See that sideways hat? Damn, he grew up in the hood, y'all. Okay, done talking like an idiot. But, uh... Uh... I, I always lose my train of thought. Oh, well. Mm, what was I going to say? What was I going to say? Talking about FTL. Yeah, so I want to know if you guys liked it and if you guys want to see me do maybe another thing of FTL, uh, like uh, like I'm with another ship. I don't want to sit, spoil anything because at this point you guys won't know what happens. But uh, but yeah, maybe with like another ship or maybe on hard because uh, you know. I tried on easy last time, so I want to face the unholy terror that is hard. Uh, that sound is <laughs> very sexual. The unholy terror that is very, very hard. It's so hard. Uh, Mark, please don't poison me. Okay, thank you. Yeah, take that, you snake Pokemon. Do you guys know Ekans backwards is snake? I think I already said that, but screw it. I'm going to say it again. No, he couldn't do it. He couldn't beat me with his snake. Will you provide my evolution solution? Oh, what, you think? No. no I'm not gonna provide your fucking evolution solution. Another fucking... Greg. These bug catchers are just retarded. Like, just... just I, I don't know. I don't even know how to respond to that. But no, I'm not gonna evolve your Pokemon. He, look how dumb he is. He's a level 9. See this? He's a level 9. And he still has a Weedle. Why not evolve into a Cocoon? Oh look, he's another Cocoon. He's like, oh, I already have one. Don't need that anymore. 
Also, who runs around with like three versions of the same Pokemon family? Like, okay, yeah, I'm just gonna catch a Weedle and Kuna and a Butterfly or an Aura Beedrill. See, and I'm guessing as a Caterpie and a Metapod too. There's a Caterpie, so next one's gonna be a Metapod. <sighs> okay. <sighs> oh, also, uh, yeah, I guess uh, if if I am doing a another episode of a uh, of uh, Fast and Light, I need more crew member names. So you can think of anything on par with Mike Lictoris and Jack Off and Anita Moorhead. Sorry, I forgot about Anita, but uh. Now I'm one step forward, two steps back. Yeah, he's see, he's retarded. Instead, of, like he takes one step forward, then two step back. You're never gonna get through Mount Moon doing that. How did you find me here? Uh, I jumped off a ledge. What? You think you're hiding down here? Look, another one of these slutty glasses, like Sally. You're a slut, Sally. I hope you know that. She's like just poking her cute little ass out at Ash and say, "Oh, you want some?" No, he did. No, I don't. You're disgusting. You disgust me, glass Sally. Mustang Sally. Uh, I don't know. There's some song called Mustang Sally, and I, s I remembered like the first three s notes of like the first three notes of the song. She actually is a Nidorina. Wow, changing it up a little bit. Or Nidoran, I mean. But uh, but yeah. So uh, there's a song. It's called Mustang Sally. It's, I think that's the one that goes like riding around Sally or whatever. Uh, yeah, I just started thinking about that one. Yeah, I got $160. I have to go all the way around because dumbass last Sally wanted to stay in her little hiding place so nobody could find her. Maybe you weren't such a slut and trying to track everyone with your little ass. People wouldn't uh, try to find you so much. Pokemon next to suck blood, isn't that all? That is really, like, what the fuck is your Pokemon a vampire? Oh my god, I just realized that. He has a Zubat. And a Zubat is based off a vampire. Because a vampire can turn into a bat, and they also suck blood. That's why he's fat. Oh my god, mind blow. Freaking mind blow. Wow. Just, mind is completely blown. That, that's incredible, holy crap. I actually did not see that coming. Wow. That, that's crap, wow. I'm just blown away right now. That, that is incredible. Calvin, thank you. That sucked. <laughs> that was a fucking vampire joke. Get it? Get it? Get it? But Puff Puff is so adorable. Go on, take a look. I'm guessing it's gonna either be a Jigglypuff or a Clefairy. Just, just putting it out there. Just Robin. Yep. Oh, Jigglypuff got it the first time. You know what? Let's let's just hurt her. Let's just really hurt her, Puff Puff. Oh, how did I not get Puff Puff? Jigglypuff. Puff. Like, that's just common sense there. Okay. Oh. Uh, so today we're gonna try and conquer Mount Moon. Oh no, 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 Damn it, okay. Let's try and get it. Let's try and get it. Let's try and get it. Oh, come on, wake up, you stupid butterfly. Come on. Disable. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Fucking attack her. Just end it. Just end it. Come on, Martin. Just end it. God damn it, end it. Come on, come on, come on. Yes, he woke up, thank god. Okay, okay. Oh come on! Are you freaking kidding me? Oh, I guess because of all the defense goals. I guess Gust is a physical move because... I don't know, just get, Gust seems to do less damage after they do a defense curl, so I, I thought it would have been special because... Adorable, even in defeat. Sweet, you're such a slut, Robin. Okay, let's go to the... Pokemon Center. Where is the Pokemon Center? Where is... What the? Ah, Wild Zubat attack, help me! Where is the Pokemon Center? Do you know where the Pokemon Center is? Oi! Are you my dog's barking? What? Are you my dog's What the fuck is he talking about? I just came through Mount Moon! 
It was not an easy trick. You should rest too. Oh, okay, he's the Pokemon Center. Oh, I guess because there's no Pokemon Center in the uh, anime, and he said, That feels better, don't it? Uh, okay, let's see. Ah, oh, well, too bad attack, help me. I guess I have to help this nerd. Damn it. Oh, I, I'll just let the Zubat just beat him to death. Really? Really? You can't pick a fucking level 7 Zubat. Really? Seriously. Legit. Like, you cannot take a level 7 Zubat. Okay, weird thing here. For some reason, I don't know why, but growing up, I always thought the move Astonish was like Hump. I, I, I don't know why. I don't know how I came to that conclusion, but it always seemed to me like whenever they used Astonish, the, their attack was like humping the Pokemon. I don't know. Don't even ask me how. Just weird thing about me. I always, I, to this day, I still think whenever I see the move Astonish, I think it... Like they're humping my Pokemon for some reason. I have no fucking idea why. I don't know if it's what it has to do with like the water squirting out from them. But I I I I I, 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 don't, know. I don't know. Thank you so much. You saved my life. My name's Shimo the Scientist. Somebody strung lights up in Mount Moon, causing the nocturnal Pokemon to fly out. They're after the Moonstone. I'm sure of it. The Moonstone was brought here from another planet by Clefairy. That's right. Clefairy are aliens. Oh my god, they're aliens. Uh, please, go help them. Did any of you guys see the movie Dark Skies? What do you think about it? It, it was... Uh, it was... Uh, I wouldn't write home, but... Someone lit up the cave. I can see where I'm going perfectly. That's great. It's another probably slutty lass. Let me get... Oh yeah, there she is again. Mar... Mar... What? Mariah? Or last Mariam. Okay. Good name there. Uh, but yeah, uh, but yeah, I just, not recently, but I, I saw that movie Dark Skies. It's the one, like the aliens or something. Uh, it's okay. It wasn't great. If any, does anybody know the movie Sun? I'm talking to you like you're gonna respond, but whatever. Respond in the comments. But, uh, you know that movie. Does anybody know that movie Signs? It's basically signs. Yeah, it's basically signs. Like they even copy a lot of stuff in it. Supersonic. Oh, okay. So we learn supersonic. I don't know. Like we have poison, which does damage over time, and then we have sleep. Like I don't think we really need supersonic. No, we don't need supersonic. Yes, Marjorie did not learn supersonic. Okay, that's good. That's Mariah. Okay. Uh, but yeah, so it, it was a lot like science. Like it really reminded me of science. It, it was. I don't know. I, <laughs> I honestly don't know. Oh, really? Right in front of the fucking ladder. Really? Fuck you, Shanshu. Fuck you, Shanshu. Yeah, he's, he's probably one of. Uh, at, what's his name? Brock's ex Pokemon. Because. Uh, Brock is a fucking bitch as well, like, god, that gym sucks, but, uh, I'll rant about him later, but, uh, but yeah, so, it, it was, like, like, on a scale of, like, one star to five star, I'd probably get, like, a three star, like, the, there's definitely a couple of suspenseful moments, like, it's supposed to be a horror movie, but, it's, it's uh, I, don't, I don't even really know, there's, like, there's a couple of good suspenseful moments. Probably one part where I actually like really caught my breath. Like I'm like, oh, what's gonna happen? Oh my god! Yeah, I did that about once. I think it, you took. A, I think I took a wrong turn. So you know the way out of here, kid. No, you don't know the way out of here. So I'm gonna beat the shit out of you. Okay, well, that's nice, old man. Gord, you're a dick. Uh, probably related to Brock. But yeah. Uh, so what were we talking about? What was your talking about? Uh, yeah, Dark Skies. Uh, there's a couple of moments that were decently suspenseful. That, but I, I, and one part I admit I did jump a little bit, and uh, I, I do pretty well with horror movies where uh, I, I can watch pretty much anything. But uh, besides the point. But uh, besides that, but like they, you know, like Jaws, how they don't show the monster. And they don't show the monster. They don't show the monster. They don't show the monster, and it's suspenseful. It gets your heart rate up and everything. 
and then they show the monster, and it's like, eh, it's, it's, it's just, I don't know, just, just let me put this way, the CGI was really bad, really bad, like, just really bad, like, it completely ruined it for me, so the ending isn't great, but, you know, it's, it's a decent movie, definitely not a buy, maybe a rent, if you can even rent them anymore, Blockbuster shut down, and, uh, I guess you can rent it off on of Netflix or something, but, but I definitely wouldn't give it a buy. I'd give it like maybe a maybe a two and a half, maybe a three. So I'll give it like a my, my official review of Dark Skies in my random Pokemon video will be I'll give it a two point five. That's my review. And on the thing five is oh my god, you need to buy this fucking movie and watch it a million times. Four is good. Buy. Three is like it's decent. Maybe rent it. Two is like uh, it was okay. It was okay. Rent possibly. And the one is like don't watch this fucking movie. It's just terrible. It's just ungodly terrible. So it's a 2.5. So it's in between. Uh, and it, it was decent. Okay, that, that, now let's focus on this end. Let's focus on how much of a bitch Brock is. Brock is such a bitch. Oh my god, that gym was fucking ridiculous. Like, he's like, Geodude going defense curl, defense curl, defense curl, defense curl. Fuck you, Geodude. Bullshit, that is bullshit. Okay, let's take out the Sonics. <sighs> Just to shake it up a little bit, I should probably poison powder him next time he wakes up, but uh. But yeah, I, I really didn't like that gym. I really hope. Well, actually, next gym's gonna be pretty damn easy considering it's Misty, right? And she's Water Pokemon. I got Pikachu. He'll just, like, just run right through her whole team, so. It's no big deal. No big deal. God, I hope we can get through Mount Moon quickly. This is taking forever. This is taking forever. And I don't know you guys feel like, just switch him out. I don't really have anyone who can do that good against Onyx. I have Pikachu, not going to do shit. Uh, I got Pidgeotto, who is Gust, which is the same attack Margarine has. Or I could tackle him, which is, again, it isn't going to do anything, so. Uh, God. I don't know how Ash made it this far, because like, his team sucked. It really does. It just sucks. Pikachu's decent, but, like, really? Pidgeotto and a fucking Butterfree, like, how did that guy get two badges? How? How? Please explain to me in, a, in like a 300 word essay, how the fuck Ash managed to get two badges? You look lost too. You know, he just plays off nonchalant. I just tried to beat the shit out of some kid because he didn't know the direction. But, uh, you know, just, you look lost. I guess there's a bunch of birds at the top of, uh, of uh, Mount Moon here, because there's a wild Pidgey in Mount Moon, so you know, that's cool. Tackle. Okay, Marvin's probably gonna die next turn, or next uh, battle, but oh well. <sighs> what the fuck? I have no idea what the fuck is going on there, sorry guys. Oh, come on. I'm gonna laugh, there's like nothing at the end of this, like, fucking just walk away, it just goes on forever. Probably should have used Gust, but oh shit! Wow, that was that was a good shot. Good shot, Marjorie. Oh, a nugget. Okay, I guess that was kind of worth it. I get a bunch of money now. Come on, 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 come on. You would not believe. I I've wanted to do the Sunday video for a bit. You would not believe how many games I fucking tried to do that for. First of all, I tried to do it for Super Meat Boy. Because I thought, you know, th this will be pretty funny. I'm really bad at platformers. And I, I tend to rage sometimes. So, I was recording it, but... God, that game is so fucking retarded with the keyboard. It's not even funny. Like, it wasn't funny because, like, how bad pissed off I was. I was just pissed at the controls. It wasn't, like, you know, oh, yay... No, uh, I suck at it. No, like, I know I suck at platformers, but, like, 90% of those deaths were not my fault. The 
fucking keyboard just wasn't made to play that, so I'm like, fuck it. If I get a, like, a controller, hook up to my computer, then, then I'll fucking play it, but till then, nope. Just nope. Oh god. Go, go, go! Hopefully this guy has uh, some fighting type so Pidgeotto can just rape him. Black guy, Jason. Hey Jason, kind of like solo versus gaming. Solo, 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 solo. But yeah, so after uh, I gave up on Meat Boy, I decided I'm gonna play some Bioshock because I just bought Bioshock for the Steam Summer Sale, and I'm like, oh fuck, why does he have a Geo dude? Oh well. But yeah, so I'm like, I'm gonna uh, play some Bioshock because I never, I've never really played Bioshock. I played it for like five, ten minutes at my friend's house before, but I never really got into it. And everyone keeps telling me, "Oh, it's such a fucking amazing game." So I'm like, "Okay, yeah, I'll give it a try." Nope, fucking crashed every three seconds. So I'm like, "Screw this." And then I'm like, you know, what? I'm gonna play some FTL. I was playing some, I'm like, oh my god, I should probably play this as a let's play. Because you know what, this game is a lot of fun. And then halfway through I kind of realized, oh my god, it's probably really boring to watch this. But oh well, who cares. I don't give a shit because this is my channel and I can do whatever the fuck I want. Yay. Oh, come on, just take him out. Take him out, take him out, come on, take him out, take him out. Kill him, kill him, kill him. Just fucking kill him, please. Just, just fucking end it. Fucking end it. KFC, you fucking suck. <sighs> Looks like I'm bringing in the ass hat. Let's try Thunder Shell. Let's just see how much damage it does. Holy shit, okay, that did quite a lot. Well, not really quite a lot, just a kill him. That's all that matters. Yeah. So apparently it can hurt ground types. I was thinking maybe Geodude was like a was like a rock type or something, but no, apparently it could fucking injure him, so oh well. Okay. Oh yeah, I just went to go. Okay, first of all, I just want to say something. I didn't uh, pour down. Uh, I didn't go see Dark Skies in theaters, but recently I have been watching a lot of movies in theaters. Yeah, I found a star piece. That's useful. Uh, but yeah, I've been watching a lot of movies at the theater recently. Like just just a show. I went to see Fast Six with my friends. Then I went to go see Now You See Me with some of my other friends. And I saw Now You See Me Again with my family. So I was supposed to go see World War Z with one of my friends, but then he canceled at the last minute. So my family were going to go see Now You See Me. I'm like, screw it, I guess I'll go see it again. Uh, then I went to go see The Heat. Oh god, just don't even ask. My friend somehow convinced me to go see it. Oh, okay, it was Katie. Katie convinced me to go see The Heat. <sighs> get to that later but uh and then uh then I went to go see Despicable Me with my family because my uncle came down for uh, uh to visit us and he had his little uh, his, his little daughter and she wanted to go see Despicable Me with that but yeah and, just, uh, and then today I went to go see World War Z that's like in the last month I would I'll say month and a half I went to go see all those so yeah that, that was a lot of fun but yeah, while I'm here, I got nothing really else to talk about, so let's give more reviews. Uh, Fast 6, awesome movie. Not quite as good as Fast 5, but still pretty cool. Uh, that that was a lot of fun to go see. It was There's some pretty sweet cars in it. And yeah, that, that was definitely, definitely really, really, really cool. Must say, must say that was pretty damn badass. Uh, I'll put it as a tie for my favorite movie I've gone to see in this, uh, of those six movies, tied with World War Z. Uh, World War Z, very good, I just saw that tonight. Uh, I love zombie movies, freaking love them, just love them. I have tons, I have like Zombieland, both Dawn of the Dead, Shaun of the Dead, 
uh, Day of the Dead, no, both versions of Day of the Dead, all the Night of the Living Deads, except the brand new one, the reanimated, that was shit, that was just terrible, and I don't think I have 3D, uh, I also have Land of the Dead, which was surprisingly good, uh, and then I, I got a couple more, I, I don't remember every one I got.